Hey, this is Chris. I'm excited to share with you a brand new feature we just launched called Text to Convert. And this will allow you to capture first name, last name, full name, email address, and with certain uh, integration partners, the ability to capture even custom fields like birthdays from text messages. So let me show you how this works. The first step is we need to create a group. And this group, I'm just gonna call it Text to Convert. And we have these settings here. You can set these up and go ahead and create a group. Now, maybe you have an integration that you're already collecting an email address. So we'll create this group. And the way we're gonna set it up is when someone is added to this group, let's say they've added, uh, they've texted in a keyword and joined the group, we wanna send a follow-up message to capture their email address and then their full name. So if that's the case for you, what you'll do is you'll create a follow-up. And just a side note is this feature can be used in broadcasts, it can be used in follow-ups, and it can be used in triggers. So you can capture from a broadcast, you can capture it from a trigger, and uh, any of these. So follow-ups is uh, the first one we'll, we'll show you here. So I'll call this welcome. And we want this to go out immediately because after they join the group, we wanna send them the text and the first text message we'll say is simply thanks for joining. What is your email address? Okay. And now here you'll see this checkbox called request more information. And we'll check that. And right down here, we're going to tell call loop that the reply coming back is going to be their email address. Now, if they give you a full paragraph, well, that's not a recognized email and we'll send off this invalid response. And you can edit this if you choose. Now, when they do send the email address, we will capture that email and we'll send a successful response. So thanks for sending your email. What is your full name? And I can, since I'm asking this question, I want to continue the conversation and let call loop know that the response we're getting is going to be the full name. So I'll select full name and we'll have this invalid response. And I could actually personalize this next text message because we're capturing the full name. So I'll say, thank you, Chris Berson, right? Or whatever it is. Now uh, that can pretty much end the conversation for this. Since we've already captured the full name, which is the first name and the last name, uh, we don't need to continue this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create this follow-up and we'll turn this on. Now, the best way to test this is go to contacts and go to add a contact. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in my on number campaign. We can see this I'll whole add a subscriber. And now I'll get that first initial response. And now we can see from the contacts, this information being added. All right, so let's head over to contacts and search and we'll be able to see my phone number right here. And it already received the text message asking me for the email address. I'll send that in and there it is. So the email showed up and now if I reply back with my full name, we should see it populate here as well. And there it is, right? So we've captured the full name, the email address and the mobile phone. So that's how easy it is to capture contact information from your text messages.